Earlier I spoke with Dr. Carl Fay, Professor of Strategy at the BI Norwegian Business School in Oslo. The Prime Minister uh, talked a lot about uh, free trade, something that both uh, Norway and China really endorse. And uh, uh, President Xi, I'm sure, uh, thanked uh, Norway for not imposing new tariffs on electric vehicles. You know, Norway is in Europe but not part of the EU and normally follows the EU uh, as lead in different rules. But in this case, uh, Norway has abstained from raising tariffs on electric vehicles uh, as they're really keen to uh, have uh, Chinese electric vehicles so that one can have cheaper options available for Norwegian citizens to help in the green transition. And of course, uh, Norway was one of the first countries to recognize diplomatic relations uh, again between China and Norway 70 years ago. So this is the 70th anniversary. So I think that's actually the prime reason that the Norwegian Prime Minister is uh, visiting China. The European Business in China position paper was published today and it highlights the challenge uh, of China's growth rate and also a dip in European business confidence towards China. What needs to happen within China uh, to change that around and to create a win-win environment for growth? So I think that one important thing to keep in mind is that there's an issue of what is the current situation and what is being changed. And the positive thing is that most of the areas that we would like to see progress on, that Norwegians and other Europeans would like to see progress on in China, China is making good progress on. But one would like to see even more. So for example, very often when you talk to European executives, one of their greatest concerns is intellectual property protection. There are still challenges in China. But if you look at the improvement that's happened in recent years, it's very substantial. Now you can win a court case. Now one of the challenges is, can one start to make it that one can win the amount of money that one would in Western Europe or in the US. Uh, one of the things that uh, the European Union uh, would also like to see is more even application of laws, both because that makes it more understandable and more predictable and more fair for European businesses. Uh, there is progress happening in this, but more progress is needed. Uh, one would also like to see greater market access. Again, the number of areas that European country, uh, companies cannot work in has been decreasing substantially, but there are some challenges. Probably the market access challenge that European companies would like to see progress on the most is greater access to state-owned companies and government procurement, something China's recognized and has made some progress on, but that there's room for much more progress going forward. Uh, so these are a number of the areas that uh, one would like to see uh, progress in China, along with continuing to strengthen the Chinese economy. There is admittedly a, a great concern now with China slowing down a bit. And of course, that's not unique for European business leaders. Chinese business leaders themselves are concerned about that as well. So, of course, China's working very hard to address that issue.